Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I thought I would start out the day, the weekend, by giving you guys a tour of my back porch. Um, also, my garden here. <clears throat> Sorry that the video is a little bit shaky. I'm actually just trying out the Capture app for YouTube. So, um, <clears throat> this is my first time using it, and I just wanted to kind of uh, give it a try, and I thought I would show you guys my garden in the meantime. But anyway, this is my backyard. Um, let's see. This is my porch here. We live in par an apartment. I think I mentioned that before. But, yeah, so my little patio kind of got, there's all kinds of stuff going on back there. Please excuse the mess. I need to get another one of those containers, as you can see. Um, but there's all my gardening stuff over there. My little captain's wheel. The fishing net's kind of, I don't know, <laughs> hokey, but um, it's from the Dollar Tree. So I just put it up to see how it would look. We just kind of left it up there, but that's that. Um, I actually salvaged this bench from the dumpster at my apartment complex. And I'm going to, we're looking for cushions. We've been looking very actively for cushions to go on this to match. Um, the red chairs are from Target. They're a couple years old, but they don't really match the rug that we just got. So again, it's kind of all mashed together. Um, let's see. So what I wanted to show you guys here is the garden set that I have up uh, here. And this was, I guess it's called the City Picker. So I'm assuming it's intended for small uh, spaces or apartments. But what this is, is a, it's got, um, it's a, obviously like a little, I don't know what you call this, but it's a planter, but it has like over here, this little tube that you put water into and it automatically waters all of the plants. And what I have growing in here is all kinds of cool stuff. I have, let's see, this is a Cajun bell spicy bell pepper. And as you can see, there's lots of fruit on that, which is awesome. Um, let's see back here. This is a tomato. I think it's a cherry tomatoes. I'm not getting too many tomatoes this year and I don't know why. Um, I don't know if this, this setup isn't good for them or what's going on. I mean, there's lots of flowers. This is another tomato plant. Um, but as you can see, they're kind of like, like that one. Look, just fell off. Kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, so my tomatoes aren't doing the best this year. Hopefully we'll get a few, but we'll see. <clears throat> this, I think, yep, this is just red bell peppers. This is a regular bell pepper plant, but... There's some there, and there's lots of flowers on that, so hopefully that'll do well. <clears throat> there's another tomato plant back there. Again, no fruit, but it's all good. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about my voice, guys. I just woke up. Um, all right. Here is, this is my basil. Look at that basil plant, guys. It is out of control, and I've been cooking with this like a madwoman and picking like entire stems off of it to make things, and it's still going nuts, so <clears throat> the basil is obviously doing very well in the city pickers thing. And this is the same exact setup, but it um, is a lower one. It doesn't have the stand like this one does. <clears throat> I've got also some parsley growing in here and thyme and oregano. That's an eggplant plant. I need to stake that up because as you can see, it has lots of flowers on it. Um, it's gonna be pretty heavy soon, so I don't want it to fall over. My jalapenos are doing phenomenal, probably because this Florida sun is you know, what they thrive in, so. Yay for that, and then just another small oregano there. <clears throat> okay, I also wanted to show you guys my citrus trees. So this is a calamondin, calamondin plant. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, I saw it in, I think it was Lowe's or Home Depot, and I just thought it was really cool. Apparently, it's like a, these things are supposed to turn orange, I guess and it's like a lemony, limey flavor. I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I've never had it. So anyway, I saw the plant, it looked like it was doing really well. The only thing is we've had this for like, I don't know, a month now, and it hasn't like, this. these have not changed at all. They haven't gotten bigger, they haven't turned orange, and nothing, so hopefully they'll do okay. As you can see, we've got some um, new buds going on over here. It looks like new fruit is about to come out of this, so. Hopefully, um, we'll get some fruit off of that. There's lots back there too. But um, yeah, I have no idea, you know, if it's, I don't know if I should harvest them. I need to do some research on that. But anyway, yeah, that's my, that's that plant. And then I also have here in these small pots, um, one of these is a lemon tree and one's a lime tree. As you can see, they're little tiny babies. Um, again, we're in an apartment, so I didn't want to get big trees that were, um, you know, needed to be planted in the ground yet because we don't have a permanent spot to put them. So anyway, that's the tour of my, backyard and my garden and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I don't know what we're doing today. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Look how cute this is.
sunflowers in a can. Aw, these are so fun. It just came with seeds and like potting mix and I just threw them in there and literally I've kind of been neglecting it, but they're so cool. They're like sprouting up really tall and I just put these in there um, not too long ago. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty neat thing as well. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.